I'm Andrew Leland. I'm here with Grolsch Filmworks at the W Hotel for the San Francisco International Film Festival. Tonight is the Midnight Awards, which are being presented to Zoe Saldana and Clifton Collins Jr. They're going to be making their way down the red carpet behind me in just a moment. I'm going to be asking them a few questions. It's going to be great. Uh, the Midnight Awards is to honor uh, a terrific young actor and actress who are equally at home in mainstream and independent films. They get people who are either on the verge of really breaking big or somebody who has been working and doing incredible work and needs to be recognized for that. And so I think that tonight it's kind of that great the balance of both of those people. What do you admire about Zoe and Clifton? Oh, I think with both of them it's really a separate thing with Zoe. After watching her films over the past couple weeks, like she's an incredible physical performer and I love watching her fight scenes. Colombiana seems like a very international production and I wonder if there was anybody who you think that people should keep their eye on who's really like a rising star in that way. I think everybody that was a part of it, from Olivia Megadon, who was a director, and Luc Besson, who's a, an amazing producer, an amazing director, and, and visionary, uh, and, and Amanda Steinberg, who definitely possessed that kind of maturity and understanding to, to the craft of what we do as actors at a very early age. She's only 12. How, how did you get into acting? What was, did you have a big break, or how did it start for you? You know, if you're waiting for that one big break, you're just one of them bitter, bitter out-of-work actors. You just gotta love doing it, you know? It's like the, the old saying, you love what you do, you're just gonna do it all the time. And at some point, you'll make a little bit of money, you know? Can you say more about Clifton and Zoe and, and how they embody the spirit of the award? If you look at their filmography, they have some big budget films, Star Trek, et cetera, et cetera, and then a number of uh, in more independent films, uh, Sunshine Cleaning, Traffic, things like that. So they're able to go back and forth. It's, it's that sort of, uh, versatility and integrity which will probably guarantee them a longer career. After the success of the blockbuster films that you've been in, how important is it for you to stay involved with independent cinema and work with lesser known directors and smaller productions? I guess as an underdog myself, because I will always consider myself an underdog, people, the only reason why I've gotten here is because people took chances on me and the only way that I can I can still be here is by giving back and, and um, and always promoting the magic and, and, and the, um, the efficiency of independent films.